Hello guys, how's it going? Today we are playing some Halo the Master Chief Collection, but specifically um, Halo 3 ODST Firefight. And we are going to be talking about Halo Infinite, um, what I'm excited about, what worries me, what excites me, and everything in between. So without further ado, let's get on with Firefight. the show. Okay, so I have not played um halo um odst in a while Tough luck um on. but i do really like this game but what i specifically like is firefight um th and this actually <clears throat> is a good uh segue into what what i want to uh, talk about um about um infinite so i guess the first thing that i want to discuss actually is firefight i am really hoping that this game mode returns to halo infinite i remember when it first returned to um right there over there <laughs> when it first returned to um halo 5 i was so excited and i waited so long so i am hoping oh man i'm hoping it's not another year or two scenario where firefight takes that long to come back into this game so i'm really hoping that they you know will have it um and i did see the trailer and i'm sure you guys all seen it um i was pretty excited about it i thought it looked like a really well made fun game and that's what i feel like was missing from halo um in the past i I don't want to say it wasn't fun because it was, but in my opinion, Halo was always missing something, and I can never um, put my finger on what it was. Um, I know aim down sight was always something that I I, did, I didn't like how it didn't have. A, yeah, I actually am a fan of aim down sight, and I didn't like um, how um, Halo Three really didn't have that. At least not for the assault rifle. Um, so when Halo 5 added it, I was, I actually really liked it. I liked how it felt more realistic, while Halo 3 always felt more kind of arcadey, which, I mean, if that's your style, that's fine, but I just don't think it was mine. I wasn't a huge fan of it, um, so, oh, dang, it's right there, uh-oh. So, yeah, so... What I am hoping is that um, Halo 5 has just more options, more things to control, um, just to control the way that you play. And by the look of it, it has a lot of options, um, a lot of things. Uh, I think I had my uh, light, like night vision on? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it seems like you have a lot of stuff you can do, like zooming in, for example, right? It seems like a lot of the stuff from Halo 5, all those abilities, um, aren't added back in. Which, I mean, for better or worse, I mean, those abilities were alright, but for someone beginning to play, it just felt overly competitive. And I think that is going to turn a lot of people off. So it seems like they, they might have struck the perfect balance between arcade and competitive. And that's what I think Halo 5 really needed. So in my opinion, they, oh man, they, they might have nailed the Halo 5 gameplay. This might be the definitive um, Halo gameplay. And that's what I think, that's what we needed. This is exactly what the Halo community needed. Um, it just had to be, it had to be fun again. Halo hasn't been too fun in a while, um, and I am just, I am super pumped, am I, am I cautious, am I a little scared, uh, I mean, uh, maybe, maybe a, a tad worried, but I would say 8 out of 10, I'm confident, um, that 343 knows what they're doing and are not gonna botch it like they did uh, the last couple times. And I guess what really excites me also is definitely the campaign. 
I think the campaign is going to be a good 60% of the game. And what I mean by that is I know the, um, the multiplayer is free and that's fine. It worries me a little bit because usually when it's, usually when stuff is free, um, it's not really, I don't want to say it's not as fun, but if you look at games like, uh, Fortnite or Apex, they're kind of just games you pick up, you're like, okay, this game's fun, and you put it back down. Because you don't have to pay for it, they don't need to, uh, you know, really put everything they have into it. So that's what kind of worries me about it being, um, free to play. So I, I am, actually, I am a tad worried about that. But, but because you actually have to pay for the campaign and everything, they're probably going to make the multiplayer just as good, so... I'm gonna hold my reservations just 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 for a tad, just for a little bit. But I, I swear, I they they need to add firefight um into Halo Infinite. If they don't, seriously, I'm I'll, I'll be disappointed. This, in in my opinion, this is what really makes a Halo game is um the firefight. I I know a lot of people wanted um the invasion mode from Halo Reach. And that would be so cool. I mean, it kind of sucks that they're not gonna have it. I mean, I can't say for sure, but I, I'm not. I'm not holding my breath one bit that it's gonna. It's gonna be in the next single game, which it, it's fine. Fine. They're not gonna add invasion. I can live with it. But if you're not, if you're not gonna add a firefight, well then, I don't. Then, then that's a separate discussion, and then we're gonna have some problems. If I had to choose between invasion or firefight, it'd be firefight um, every day of the week. And you guys probably tell I haven't played um, this game mode in a while, but it, I'm telling you, it's it's still fun. It's just a nice way to go through enemies. Like you don't need to worry about necessarily other people who are just gonna wreck you, get wrecked, bro, right away. But something about just when this game mode first came out, I was instantly attracted to it, and I just thought it was super fun. And I guess like if they can if they can mix sort of um, Halo with like Titanfall 2, because Titanfall 2 just it just felt so um, liberating. It felt free, like to move your person. And I guess that's kind of what, like how I would refer to, or what I kind of meant by all this, is Halo kind of feels like very stiff. Not, I guess, I don't know, in a bad way. It just seems like your kind of person is, you're kind of just moving around, uh, very stiff-like, and it just feels all right. Um, while Titanfall feels very free, fast, and everything. That's what I like about it. And it kind of seems like Halo 5, I mean, um, Halo Infinite is moving in that direction. Yeah, Halo 5 might have felt a little too fast, and it didn't necessarily feel like Halo, but it seems like Infinite is Halo 5, but, um, sped down, but, um, still fast-paced. And I'm telling you, I think they really, they really nailed it. I have, I'm having a good feeling about this game. Um, but what I meant when, when I think the campaign is going to be, um, 60% of the game, I feel as though when you, when you're playing the multiplayer, it's probably going to be fun, yeah, and that's all good and well, I'm excited for that. Um, but I feel like playing the, playing the multiplayer is, is not going to be enough, like, you're going to need to want to, like, you're going to need the campaign, like, it just, it's not going to be enough, it's going to be all, sandbox it's gonna be super fun but when it comes to the definitive halo experience you know the meat and potatoes of it if you will then you're almost gonna you're gonna need the campaign it's, it's gonna be almost crazy to not have it so so it's free to play um oh my god he like got him there um i think they're gonna definitely add um emphasis on why you're gonna want to have the campaign so that's good, um, but free-to-play games, I'm always, always cautious about. So we'll we'll see how that goes in that regard.
and, and I know there's no um dual wield. And to be honest, I really couldn't care less. <laughs> um, dual wielding, it's, it's fine. It's always a gimmick, and I don't know if we should be that concerned about having gimmicks in the game. Um, maybe if they have a custom games with it, fine. That's that'll work. Work with me. In fact, even in competitive, I don't see why competitive shouldn't have um, dual wield. If you want to use it, I don't see the problem with why you shouldn't be able to. But I, I am looking forward to this fun game. Um, and actually for the pistol, I want to touch on the pistol real quick. Um, it, the pistol seems very similar to this one. And I don't know if they're going to um, have the pistol be as overpowered as it was in um, the first game, in Combat Evolved. And I doubt it'll be overpowered, but it kind of seems a little underwhelming. So I'm hoping it's this. I'm hoping it's a viable weapon. I'm hoping each weapon is viable, and the the assault rifle looks so cool. Oh man. It looks so cool. I am so glad they went back to Halo Reach's no assault rifle. Last man. So I am like that is one thing I was so happy to see them do. So I think they actually are listening to fans and and understand because when you guys seen that Halo, um, the Halo Reach assault rifle, you guys had to have been like, oh, this thing looks sweet compared to the uh, Halo Three assault rifle was in my opinion looked terrible in the Halo 4 I think they added it back and it was all right again so overall I would say I am super pumped for this game I hope they're adding firefight dual wielding I don't care about the directions of the weapons I am pretty happy with, the, with where they're going only time will tell um, I will be posting more Halo videos in the future because I am a big Halo fan. And when Halo Infinite releases, believe me, I will be covering that. So without further ado, that is the video. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.